welcome back to Commercial Finance Experts Academy. It's Commercial Finance and Mastery. I'm the founder and creator of Commercial Finance Mastery, and we have here Robert Klein, the founder of uh, Lender Analysis and Hippo Contact. That's the one thing we forgot to mention about the earlier one. I've been using Mr. Klein here, HippoContact.com, right? Yeah. I don't remember the dot .com, I think. Dot .com. It's, uh, it's like a Facebook stream where you can grab things that you like about other people's newsletter and put into your newsletter. So really, out of, I think, six articles, out of the six articles in my newsletter, I'm only doing one, maybe two of those six articles, and the rest is done by somebody else that I like, and I just click like and move it over, drag and drop. Simple as that. Yeah, I've done um, 67 newsletters for the last five and a half years. Uh, to be honest with you, I was able to coast through my mortgage business for the last, it took about 18 months for that newsletter to help produce me working. And then I was like, oh, okay, I'm sort of retired here. And then I got an underwriter in 2015 to do all my deals. So literally for a couple <laughs> of years, I was like, send out my newsletter, business comes in, pass off the underwriter, uh, I don't want to deal with it. Yeah. Now I'm actually getting much more serious about my mortgage business and I'm actually doing a lot more. But And here's why it's important. Uh, for most of us, we operate on autopilot. And here's why I recently say autopilot. It's a status quo. Every resident to broke is chasing out the realtor, chasing out the financial planner, blah, blah, blah. Robert and I, we're very our, our data we're, 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 so much. <laughs> where we're, I would say, uh, God, God bless or whoever the universe is is taking care of us, and we don't have to chase after these people for our center of influence for those kind of business. A lot of our databases, we'd be mining it through through one of this. Hippo Contact has helped me to, to be able to stay in touch with with my clients. Remember, remember, my remember when we were doing this? You didn't want to do Hippo Contact. I didn't want to because it was just <laughs> time consumers. How I, I, that's what I'm thinking, right? And, uh, uh, and you know what, back when I was with another franchise, they have one, you know, an autopilot, which is, it's, I call it crud, because it's the same thing that everybody else is getting. Yeah. And if you're sending out to your realtor, the realtor is getting five or six of the identical newsletter, and they're like, delete, or it's in a spam folder, nobody cares. Ours is, is we found things that have worked, and uh, like for example, the foreclosure listing, I, I, I call it porn, porn in our newsletter, yeah. it, and the way that Hippo Contact does is it, we, we, it tracks about interaction, how many people click through and how many people read certain documents that we have attached to the uh, newsletter. It just shows how many people are actually engaging. engaged. Yeah. I'll, give you, I'll give you a stat. Nine, so one of the parts of the newsletter, the most, actually the, the whole formula to it is the whole formula, but the most important part, I think, and everything's important, is the personal content. Yes, so very, for example, very. Um, 90% of my phone calls, inquiries, start with them. How's, talking to how's, me Dan, Dan, how's Dan Dan doing? Yeah, <laughs> they talk to me about my family. Yeah. So I, I, and then most people are taught to stay in touch with clients. I don't stay in touch, I, don't, I stay in touch with clients. Plus the dude I met at Starbucks four years ago. Yeah. And then he had the mortgage coming up for new four That's years right. ago. That's right. I'm, I'm there. Yeah. And, and I'm there passively in a non-invasive way. Yeah, and that's the same. And we, we share entertaining articles and something that's fun as well. And I just got a referral from a client that I added to my newsletter in 2012, and I met him in 2010. And he goes, hey, I don't know if you remember me. Um, I met you seven years ago. Uh, anyways, I love your newsletter. And he's literally seen me get married, go on trips, <laughs> have kids, having the second kid. And he goes, uh, I got a client for you to... Um, Talking. This is the this is the guy that I met like in a casual game seven years ago once. Well, you just don't know when. Uh, you 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 first you 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 have to stay in in, in first of the mind in front of everybody's mind, and the one way to do it is be engaging. Right? Now, people might think, oh, seven years that's a long time. Well, actually, if you do the mathematics on it, uh, here's the math: the average person is going to deal with their mortgage every forty-two months. That's average. Yeah. Every three and a half years. Okay. If your database is four hundred people. And they're engaged, 400 people are engaging on, on you. Divide that by 42, basically means in that list, 10 people a month are dealing with their mortgage with or without you regardless. Yep. So if you factor, if you get two or three closes of the 10, that means you're closing 20% you know, of your database. Yeah. That's how you really want to be looking at it. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, so uh, what does it have to do with any commercial financing? Well, it really does and really doesn't because it depends on what you want to put up there. In, in my newsletter, there's always some articles about commercial property or commercial foreclosure or something. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what it does. All right. Do you compete? I don't compete. I don't compete. I don't have any. That's what the newsletter shopper. does. It yeah. eliminates competition because you have a relationship with these people. That's pretty true. Oh, yeah. They know who you are. I don't <laughs> like competition. Yeah, you call me, and I had one person call me a year ago. They're like, what's, what's your best rate? And I'm like, how did you find me? And I'm like, 
oh, I found you online. I'm like, okay. like my website sucks. <laughs> <laughs> like, why? How did you even call me? I don't even know what. I, I don't get my business from that. Yeah. And uh, and then I'm I'm like, they're asking, can you do this and that? And I'm like. And it was like a 200 gram mortgage, and, no. and I used to want the lowest rate, and I'm like, well, the other person that they talked to, uh, did, Go they, to them. did they by chance um, <laughs> offer you uh, free free appraisals and free legal? <laughs> and then they're like, yep. And I'm like, perfect, go to them. <laughs> and that was it. Because that, that, that was, I was not designed to answer that question. I have, no. I have my business not designed. And you know, and this is why we, we do these things, because it's more value. It's more value, and the clients see you as more valuable as a point of contact as a person of expertise, they go to you for that specifically. Yeah, if you this wanna, is one of those. If you want to eliminate tools. your sales skills, like the requirement of it, have the relationship strong. That's right. And it does help a lot. Oh, thanks, right. Robert, for sharing with us. Yeah. And thanks for coming and watching our show. Talk to you on the next one.